This video focuses on two special features of the SQL Server industry model implementation. Now the goal is that users don't notice any difference in the way that things look or feel, but there may be some things that administrators would do differently or can do differently. Firstly, we'll have a look at the spatial index optimization function. Open any SQL Server industry model containing data and let's navigate to the feature class properties to check the current spatial extents of the metadata. Now this is the range that was defined when creating the industry model. And these values are also used by map when creating the index used by the feature classes. Let's run one click maintenance. There's a new SQL Server specific implementation which will check the spatial index configuration for us. We can see that MAP has reported some warnings in the results section for this spatial check. So let's quickly explain the background of this function. The SQL Server ind uh, Spatial Index is a four-level grid hierarchy, starting from the top, moving down, and the, the top has the full extents of the spatial index. Each successive level further down breaks the levels above it. So the better the index extents match the location of the data, the better the geometries are distributed within the index area. Thus, the better its performance will be. So we used one-click maintenance, optimized the spatial index for us, which means they've now been rebuilt with narrower extents. This can be checked again in the feature class configuration section if you, if you want to. The second feature we want to call out is using custom SQL Server functions as calculations. In SQL Server Management Studio, you can write and deploy your own SQL Server functions. Let's take uh, this one as an example. It's named Water Number of Connections. The input parameter is the FID of an attributed utility feature, and this function then queries the topology data to count and return the number of connections to this utility feature. Let's see how we can use this function in AutoCAD Map 3D. An additional layer containing the utility features has been added. And now when we create a, a, a function to this layer, the custom SQL Server function is available as a map function. This functionality is part of the enhanced capability of the SQL Server FDO provider. Now we configure and name the new calculated property and use this property to style the data. We want to mark all unconnected utility feature points and this has just been made very simple based on the new calculated property. Now the SQL Server function does all the analysis work and returns the results to us. Of course, we could also use the industry model topology checker to find all nodes without an edge, just as we would with uh, industry models which are stored either on Oracle and SQLite.